just remembered, I want to record this video for some person that, that couldn't join. So, um, how does blockchain, a typical blockchain, how does it work? Now, if, you, if someone makes a transaction, like maybe you want to buy Bitcoin now, for example, it records on the ledger, just like the way someone comes to, goes to a bank and requests for money. The person requests for, mo for money, the person's account gets debited. It appears on the account that some sort of person have collected some, some amount of money. So the man, money will be debited. Now, in the blockchain, blockchain network, someone buys a request for Bitcoin. It records on the network that so and so person is requesting for Bitcoin. Then this transaction gets validated. When the transaction is confirmed by the network, the person, the money, the Bitcoin person requested for will reach the person, reach the person's wallet, com uh, completing, completing the cycle. So now this ledger or this uh, account is centralized in the sense that nobody has a, has a central control of these transactions. Instead, you say that it's peer to peer. Whatever you're doing is me to you, you to me. There's no central control. There's no bank. There's no government coming to say we are regulating who you can send money to or who you can receive money from. So I've tried to explain the uh, evolution of money that Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies is not just, it's not something that came out of the blues. It's actually money that evolved from trade by butter up to cryptocurrency. If you, if you look at this image now, you will see the um, trade by butter, gold, metal coins, paper currency, plastic cards, electronic money, and cryptocurrency. And at these different phases of money evolution, money was trying to um, solve a particular problem. At the by butter stage, when it got to gold, you wanted to solve the problem of preservation. You can't preserve all those food items and animals and all those things. Well, gold, you can preserve them. But there was issue of transportation. It evolved to metal coins, then paper money, which brought in central bank. Then plastic cards like ATMs, which made it easier for you to withdraw your money. Then electronic money like PayPal made it easier to send money across the world. You can send money from where you are to USA and all that, and you can uh, offer services and products and get paid in other currencies too. But then cryptocurrency came in to solve the problem of the financial market crisis of 2008 and 2009. And now, today, is now a way, it's not a way to end passive income if you know how to go about it. So now there are different money making strategies of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. From here, if you have been paying attention, if you can pay attention from here. I'm very sure most of you are very much interested in this part. So one of the ways to make money from cryptocurrency is what we call Bitcoin or fiat trading, whereby you deposit your money, your cash, and buy Bitcoin. Then you move that Bitcoin to what we call an exchange. Hope you can still hear me. All right, I'm just seeing your feedback about your misconceptions. I'll still address them. Okay. I hope you can still hear me. Oh, I'm sorry if it is breaking. If it's breaking, it's network probably from your side. All right, um, as I was explaining the first point here, Bitcoin slash fiat trade is where you you use your money, your maybe they take for example, you use 10,000 Naira now, and you buy $25 worth of Bitcoin. Then you now move it to what we call an exchange. 
whereby you can now use that Bitcoin and buy another cryptocurrency that you know will give profit. Then when that cryptocurrency increases in value, you can now convert it back to Bitcoin and back to your Naira. So you can make 100% of your 10,000 Naira in a week, in just four hours, in a few days. And if it's a long-term coin, you can put it there and make it up to 8,000% in like six months one of the coins that did like this did up to uh 400 to thousand percent depending on how you went about your strategy was a coin a coin we call link l-i-n-k from november last year to date it has done over 600 percent for people that are just holding it people are just kept it in their wallet and they were not doing anything about it the value increased so that's one way of making money in crypto you buy bitcoin and you trade it i know we're making money in crypto is what we call master nodes and taking these days there are coins that are um these are you you are you, you have a you're holding a coin in your wallet and you're offering just holding that coin you're offering support to the company that created the coin and for just holding that coin that company will start will be rewarding you in either that particular coin or another coin that you can easily sell and get money. I don't forget what I, what I just said. Master knows and staking is you, maybe you know a coin that is a master node coin. You just hold the coin. Just by holding the coin, you're offering support to the company that made the coin and that company rewards you for holding the coin by giving you that same coin more of it for free or giving you another coin for free then now those coins that you, you, you received you can now sell it and make money bitcoin mining which used to be very profitable in past years that was like in 2017 um, part of 2018 maybe there were many free sites where you can easily mine bitcoin on your phone and you can convert it to uh bitcoin so next one is what we call initial coin offerings initial coin offerings was uh one major way that gave people money in 2018 part of 2018 part of 2019 it's a if some of us are some of us are uh, conversant with what we call crowdfunding, you understand how initial coin offering works. Initial coin offering is a, a company creates a cryptocurrency. Now maybe they, they make their own cryptocurrency, they make their own cryptocurrency, and they offer you offer it to the public at a very at a much cheaper price. Take for example, they want the cryptocurrency to be exchange that one dollar they now offer it to the public at 0 0.5 dollar so that when eventually they are done with what they want what they want to do with the coin and they finally they become public those people that bought the coin before it enters into the market will not be at making 500 percent gain because they bought at 0 0.5 dollar and the coin and when the coin enters the market and it's being sold at one dollar, they'll be making 500 percent gain. So a lot of persons that get into this make profit in 2018, part of 2019. But these days, the focus have been shifted from this. There are no more some some any any company is going into ICO these days is either. Um, can you hear me? Wait for more people to join so I can continue.
Can you see my screen? If you can see my screen, please say yes in the chat box. Oh, for best. Oh, for best. <laughs> If you can see my screen, please uh, kindly indicate in chat box. All right, more indications, please, more indications. All right. All right. Okay. Um, I was trying, as I, mean, I was explaining different money making strategies. In uh, okay, someone is raising their hands. All right. Now the next one I want to explain is if you have any question, put it on the, in the chat box. Then the next one affiliates marketing programs. Now this is not like necessarily an option per se. Most exchanges where you can buy and sell Bitcoin offers you an option where you uh, you can have a, what we call. Uh, I need to record this thing. Okay. Where we have um, you you have a link that you can share to people to join the exchange. Now, if whatever they trade on that exchange, you get 10, between five to 40% of what they are trading. So this doesn't necessarily mean like this is the only way you can make money from crypto, just like a side, a side way where you, you are trading on an exchange, you can, you can share your affiliate links to maybe to your friends that you want to bring into crypto. So that if they start trading, you can make between five to 40% depending on the exchange of the money that they are using to trade. So, all right, initial coin offering and no, they, are, they sound familiar, okay? But they're not the same thing. Master node, eh? There are coins that are called master node coins. You just buy them and you just hold them. Like on the exchange called Binance, for example, which I'll take you to. I'll use Binance to explain, to show you some things. On Binance, for example, there are some, there are some masternode coins that you can buy. If you buy them, you don't need to start trading them. Just keep it there. If you just keep it there, at the end of the month, depending on the amount of that coin that you are holding, on the exchange, they will allocate some um, some of another crypto to you for free that you can easily sell. But initial coin offering is take for example now my brand now ValueCorp decides to create her own crypto, and I just call it crypto. Uh, what I call it now? Value or something. Just, okay, so that's called a value, for example. Then, I've not launched this crypto into the market. I'll not come to the public, and I'll show you the potentials of my crypto, what you, are, what you uh, intend to, what you're going to gain if you invest in my crypto. Then, if you see that it's worth your while, you just you invest into it, and I'll offer it to you at a much cheaper price. That is maybe, I, I, I used the uh, $1, for example, before. I'll now offer it to you at $0.5 instead of the $1 that I will, I will sell it when it comes into the market. So you will now buy it at 0 0.5 and hold it. When I now of, officially launch my coin into the market, you can now tell off that one you bought at 0 0.5, now at $1 you'll not be making 
I believe you understand now the difference between initial coin offering and master notes for the person that asked the question. So another way of um, making money from crypto is accepting that as a, as a payment for your services. Now I have a series of um, eBooks. Some persons, some persons that bought my eBooks, they're not Nigerians. So to save all the whole, the, uh, the plenty, plenty drama of trying to send money from maybe from Ghana or from US or from anywhere else, just, in, just pay the um, value, the same value. Maybe I'm selling my book for $10 now. Instead of sending $10 and you'll be having issues or it's be costing you extra money to send the money to me here in Nigeria, you pay me instead in Bitcoin. I've, I've seen a couple of shops here in Enugu where, you got, where they accept Bitcoin as payment. So one of the things that that will eventually happen is where uh, Bitcoin will be accepted globally as a means of exchange of value and, of value for products and services, whereby you can use it to pay for your, if you're going to go and buy something in the supermarket or in a mall, and you can easily pay Bitcoin and they'll give you what you want to buy. So another one is airdrops. Airdrops are free money in this space. Like airdrops, you, 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 don't have to, you don't have to invest any money to make money from airdrops. Airdrops are, um, let me use myself for example now. I created a cryptocurrency and I would divide, maybe I created, I created 200,000 cryptocurrency to increase awareness for my cryptocurrency. I decide to give out 50,000 of that 200,000 for free. That 50,000 50, uh, of my cryptocurrency is what we call airdrop. Now, I don't just dash it to people for free. There are some things they, would, they will do to earn it. Some of the, those things can include you, um, the, uh, some of the structure will tell you, share, share this post to Facebook, share this post, this post to Twitter, invite five of your friends to like, uh, to do same, that kind of thing. Just some, some things that you can easily do. And when you do them, it's a record for you that you are qualified for. You are qualified to earn those cryptocurrencies for free. When distribution starts, you will get the quantity of cryptocurrency that you that you earned by doing those uh, doing those small, 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 small activities. Of course. Someone is asking a question, are you some of those, those airdrop scams? Yes. In fact, there are, some of them are just like everything else we have in this planet Earth. As long as, as, long as there's the, the, the good one, there'll always be the fake one. As long as there's real, there'll be fake. So there are ways to know fake, fake airdrops. Airdrops are free. Airdrops are free. So any airdrop that would demand you to pay anything, maybe they'll tell you to pay Ethereum, for example, to earn the cryptocurrency. Just immediately tell you to pay something to earn that airdrop. Just know that that airdrop is a scam because airdrops are supposed to be free. They're supposed to increase awareness of that cryptocurrency. They're not supposed to collect anything from you. What you are doing is just to uh, do small tasks like share on Facebook, share on Twitter, you know, stuff like that. But immediately it, it, it demands, they start demanding you to pay some kind of cryptocurrency to end up at a cryptocurrency. Then you know it's a scam. Don't even try it. So um, like if you join my group, if you officially join my group, I'll be posting legit airdrops that you can participate in. Just know it is free. It's definitely, definitely free. So you don't have anything to lose. Lose. You don't have anything to lose as far as you don't go and start paying money, unnecessary money. The minute you pay money, you just know it's coming. The money will just go like that, enter the ocean and disappear. So another way to make uh, money from cryptocurrency is offering technical service and product to the markets and all that. Crypto hedge funds and investment companies. Uh, now, 
in today's in today's uh, market, blockchain technology has become something that is being sought after. If you're a blockchain, a blockchain developer, you can earn as much as just as much as one million naira just developing blockchain platforms. That's why I also encourage my friends that are into uh, that develop that are web developers. They should look into blockchain because blockchain is a fresh is a fresh field, and this com all these companies are looking for people that are good in it, people that can code blockchain platforms, and they pay them a huge amount of money. Most of them are not Nigerian based. There are one or two persons, although in Nigeria, that can deliver very good services, create very good platforms, and they earn money because they are very few. So uh, this is a very learning the technical part of blockchain and Bitcoin and all those things. If you, if, if you know how to create crypto self, if you know how to build a cryptocurrency, you'll make much money from it. So maybe if you're not interested in trading and all those things and you are someone that likes, that wants to uh, learn a skill in this regard, looking into creating, creating cryptos, uh, building blockchain uh, platforms, very, 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 very good. You earn much more money. All you have to do is just delivering services and creating products for the market. So another way is something like what I'm doing now, educating people and mentoring people in things like this. Telling people, showing people what kind of cryptocurrency can you invest in that will give you money. Teaching people how. So people pay me to teach them what to do, guide them, show them. Because it's not all, we have up to over 4,000 cryptocurrencies in the market. To see this, you can install the app. I'll type the name of the app here in chat post and you'll see it. You can install it from, um, you can install it. Sorry for the breaking transmission. Sorry for the breaking transmission. I'll continue sharing my screen. So, uh, like I was explaining before, if you can hear me, please just say hi, chat box. No, we're not done. Uh, what's the time? In about five minutes, we'll be done for today. But I wanted to like go far, so you have an you can have an idea of what this is about. But I hope so far so good. You have an idea what cryptocurrency is about, what Bitcoin is about. You can you should give me a response in the chat box. So far so good. You have a question? Because this is like the like, intro part. You don't go to the part where you have to actually implement how you can actually really really start so i would have loved to get into that now if you can give me uh maybe extra 30 minutes of your time if you can give me 30 minutes more of your time i'll explain i'll get to the part where you, you how you can start investing your money into cryptocurrency one thing i don't i don't do i don't collect money from people to invest for them I show you how to do it because it's better for me that you know how to take your profit. So you, nobody will say I ate their money. People have, uh, so many persons came to me to, uh, to ask me if I do investment packages, whereby they can give me some amount of money. All right, so many persons um, met me for investment packages and I tell them that, I told them that I don't do investment packages. I'll show you how you can do this thing by yourself, how you can take your profit so that you can easily track what you are making. It will be like I'm keeping a part of your profit to myself. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you, I'll take you to the past the next step 
concept of how you can start. Now, where to start? You can buy, you can install an app, the app we call Luno Wallet. You can go to your Play Store on your phone for Android users and Android and Apple and iPhone users. You go to your store, your app store, and you install what we call the Luno Wallet. This Luno Wallet makes it very easy for you to move money from your account, the wallet, and then easily buy Bitcoin. This is not the only way you can buy Bitcoin. There are other uh, ways that, that we call escrow services. With escrow services, you can buy and uh, you can buy from somebody like a middleman, and the person would sell to you and all that. But then there are just like there are always scammers everywhere. So to save yourself from all the long and short short story of sending your money to somebody and the person will not, will, will not send you your Bitcoin. You install this app on your phone and you can easily buy your Bitcoin. So I want to take you to the website so you can see how to do that. You'll be seeing my uh you'll see my, my screen in a bit. You will see how to buy. Can you see my screen now? Please, you have to bear with me with all these inconsistencies. I'm very sorry, that wasn't my plan. All right, so I'm taking you now to the website. Just know that you don't have to go to your website. You can install the app on your phone and you easily buy your Bitcoin from there. So this is how to start. How to start is to actually buy Bitcoin. With that, with, um, you can buy Bitcoin with as little as, okay? That's what it's doing, it should be. But it should be fine in the bit. We can buy Bitcoin with as little as 10,000, 20,000 Naira, 10,000 Naira is about $50, 40,000 Naira, which is $100 and all that. As of today, one Bitcoin is about 6,000 something dollar. I think about 6,000. Now this is a website for this is a typical web this is the website for Luno where you can buy your Bitcoin. So to get started, you can sign in. You sign in with your email address. You can sign in with your Google email at Google or your Facebook. When you sign in with your email address, it will show you, you will see where. Oh, okay. Oh boy, which of this is nine nine?
you verify When you sign in, you see a place, you see the place for Naira. At the Naira part, you deposit your money from your account. When you deposit your money, it will show. Now that do not have made it instant, it doesn't take time to appear in your wallet. When you deposit something like 10,000 Naira, you can now, you go to buy Bitcoin. And I'm waiting for this thing to go, so you see what I'm saying. Now, when the um, when you click deposit Bitcoin, it asks it will ask you which of them you want to use. You click your Naira wallet, so automatically to convert the money you have in the wallet into I'm sorry for these inconsistencies. I know. It's okay, so poor. So what I'll do, what I'll do to make this better is that I might have to repeat this class. I might have to repeat this class. This is how to start and start making profits from your Bitcoin. So this is this is entirely this is entirely new account, fresh account. So you click um in a typical wallet, your mobile wallet, you see the NGN. You see where to buy your this is a web wallet. You see where to buy your Naira with using your you, you deposit from your account. After depositing, you now come to buy Bitcoin. It will exchange your Naira for Bitcoin. You now have Bitcoin. After you now, you now have Bitcoin. You Because this is a new account, they're not going to allow me to start doing all this or this or this. But I just wanted to know that if you saw this app, it makes it so much easier to buy your Bitcoin. The interface is very friendly. It has a very user, a user-friendly um, interface. Then after you bought your Bitcoin, for example, on your Luna wallet here, you can transfer that Bitcoin to an exchange we'll call Binance. This is one place, this is the place where you can make lots of money with the little that you have. You can convert your 10K to become 100K in a matter of weeks to months, depending on the cryptocurrency you're trading. Now, it's very important that you trade, it's very important that you trade cryptocurrencies that have potentials. There are cryptocurrencies in the market that will call cheat coins. Those coins are coins that they don't have potentials. You invest your money there and your money remains there forever. It doesn't increase and it might go down and don't give you, don't give you a value that you want. So when you bought your cryptocurrency from your Luna wallet, you can you come to this exchange. For those of you that will uh, send me a message on whatsapp to join my group you'll get um a link that you use to register on this platform when you're on this platform this is where you can buy and sell your crypto like just like uh over two weeks just a little bit over two weeks ago we there was a particular uh, set of cryptocurrencies that were bought four of them one of them 
gave us an instant 200%. And between that time and two weeks' time, it gave us 500%. And still counting. Now we are still expecting more 500% from that cryptocurrency. So that's like, that's a, tip, that's a uh, one way you can earn from this platform. Even those master note coins that I was talking about. Yeah, Luno. I use Luno. Luno is not, is not uh, necessarily a Nigerian wallet. It's just that it supports Nigerian currency. Luno is owned by a South African. But about over 20 co countries can use Luno to buy and sell cryptocurrency. You can, you can also buy crypto, um, Bitcoin in your Luna wallet and leave it there. If Bitcoin increases in value up to $10,000, you'll be making extra 400% of what, you, not 400%, sorry, 40% of what you put in there. So I use Luna because I've used it, I've used it over, for over one year now and it's been very reliable. Unless I have to, I want to buy from it, a middleman. I have a couple of reliable, uh, middlemen that I use if I want to buy Bitcoin from them. But then, if you want to escape any story that touch, you use Luna Wallet to buy your cryptocurrency, buy your Bitcoin. After buying it, you can now move it onto. Let me see if I can log into my account. After buying your Bitcoin or your Luna wallet, you transfer it to this exchange called Binance. When you transfer it to this exchange called Binance, you can now start your trading. But I just hope you get the dish. Uh, let's talk and very somehow see this afternoon. But after you bought it from uh, Luno, you move it to your Binance. When you move it to your Binance, you can now start your trading and start, your, and start making your money. There are other exchanges. If you install that app I told you about, if you install that app I told you about, you will see other exchanges where you can buy and trade, buy and exchange Bitcoin. There are other things I would like to explain to you about cryptocurrency. Your security is your, is your number one concern. You are in charge of your security. If you don't protect your account, you can be hacked. That is, I was explain that when we get to risk management, which might be uh, tomorrow, tomorrow evening. All right. Someone asking a question. Binance app. I will explain that. So now, this is my own Binance account. Yes, Binance app is different from Luno. Luno is where you can buy your Bitcoin. After, after you buy it from Bitcoin, you move the Bitcoin to Binance. It's on Binance now, you cannot make your money from. That's where the money making strategies. I'll talk about the money making strategy, um, how to now take your profit, how you can now start officially trading. But this is the place where you trade. You trade on Binance. You can buy from Binance. You can buy from Binance, but that's to make it easy for people that are just, you know, people are just starting. 
you can buy from Binance. Ever since the Binance integrated what we call Nigerian Pay, you can easily buy with your credit card and MasterCard. But then it can give you challenges because this is not this is not a Nigerian exchange. This is a foreign exchange. It might not be as smooth for you. To make it smooth for you, you buy from Luno and you transfer to your to the exchange. But you can buy directly from Binance. Now, these are different. These are different parts of Binance. To move your after you bought the, the cryptocurrency, you transfer the cryptocurrency to your Binance. App, Binance. You don't need to use. You have to uh, go to your website. It has an app on your Play Store. You can install the app on your place to it has a very much better and easier user friendly interface whereby you don't have to stress you don't have to stress to go about some things now like i said before you buy from luno you move it to your binance so how do you do this how do you do this movement you come to your wallet on your app, on your Binance app, and you copy what we call the deposit address. We copy the deposit address from this place. You go to your Luno. You go to your Luno and you send it. Yes. Uh, sorry, two more minutes to go. If this, if this time's out again, you might have to uh, get in. But do you guys want us to continue tomorrow or later this evening? If you want us to continue tomorrow, please indicate in the chat box. If you want us to continue tomorrow evening by 9 p.m., please indicate in the chat box. So this evening or tomorrow evening. Tomorrow evening, 9 p.m., 10 p.m. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'll I'll do more like a, a revision of this class in the evening due to network inconsistencies. But this time around, I will not have the recorded version because I'll be using my phone. I try to use my system to do it so that we can I can record for people that miss the class. But I'll use my phone to ease it to make to ease um make it easier. So I'll do a a revision in the evening and tomorrow we'll advance more on how to the portfolio management and the risk management and all that and how to make your profit and all that tomorrow evening for this evening we will be there so if you miss most part of it just uh wait for my link by 9 p.m to continue the class thank you very much i'm sorry for the inconsistencies today